MMA bike and I'm here with Swan Kakai. How are you doing Swan? I'm good, I'm happy that uh, I got the win. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your training camp? I think usually heading into fights we hear a lot about updates from you and how training camp is going. Can you just talk us about how your time was in, in Florida? I was just training and it took, it took me, I, I knew I had a fight and it took me a while before I opened like four weeks left or I think maybe it was six. But I was in Florida for almost two and a half months just training and I've been training for a long time because I thought I could be in the UFC and uh, it's just a great training camp and I, I didn't focus too much on my opening, I just tried to get better every day. Right, but yeah, and it's been over, just over a year since you've actually yeah. had a fight, so I think that's a challenge in itself. How, how, did, how did you feel coming into the fight and stepping into the, the cage? Uh, real different, and, uh, because it was all, more than 12 months ago I, I was in the cage and it affected me a lot. And I didn't think it was going to affect me, I was really like feeling good. But I didn't remember how it was to cut weight. It was hard to cut weight. Was it always? And uh, I got nervous, and I was I was really nervous. And I was not nervous in a bad way. I was nervous in a good way. But at the same time, I couldn't really. When I was here, I wasn't focused. I was thinking about different stuff I shouldn't think of. But in the third round, I get mad. I'm, Come on, let's do this. And then I think I was just different to fight. But. Third round was a little bit too late, but that's still I got the win. I'm happy that I got the win, of course. Yeah, it seemed like there was a couple points in the bout where you like you like woke up and snapped out of it. I think in the first round it looks like a knee bar was. I think it was a knee bar that was at least the pressure was tight on your knee, and it seemed like once you got out of that, you were really pissed off. Yeah, it was a calf slice. Because the thing is, uh, and I got a lot of pressure on me, and then a lot of pressure I put myself because I want my represent my teams and I, I want to show that I'm good and they, I'm high in the rankings and the odds was I was supposed to just crush this guy and that come to my head I was thinking I had to finish in the first round and hit him with a good knee and I was thinking man this guy's tough he, he's here to fight and I was thinking man about my train is I gotta get disappointed I don't know I was thinking so I had so much in my head I was I was not really there and uh, I think it's because it was like almost one year or I fought and I, I need to be more active. Yeah, yeah. And I think the added pressure being uh, this in your hometown too and there were lots of cheers and this opponent wasn't someone that, that I heard of coming into the bout but he was a real tough guy. Um, it, what do you see next knowing that you've taken a, a year off? Are you looking to just get back in there, look at the next offer to make sure you stay busy? Yeah, I, I want to, I want to get um, maybe two, one or two weeks off and then start to train <coughs> excuse me and, and after that I want to get him one more fight and show how good I am and really really show like what I made of um, my skills because I don't think I show 100% what I, what I can do and um, I, need to, I think I need to show it before I go to the big shows yeah and, and what specifically are you working on and what do you think you've improved since the last time last time you fought e everything my wrestling is getting better e everything is getting better I get physically strong I get bigger every day but the thing is like I didn't I didn't fight at 100% today and uh, I think a lot of people could see that because I don't know, I, I, it was a lot of mentally because I haven't been fighting for a year, I think that's a fact. Okay, great. great. Is there any uh, sponsors you want to thank or anyone else you want to thank for this camp? I want to thank my uh, home, uh, home gym, GBG MMA, uh, American Top Team, and my sponsors here, Epic, Macon, Alavera, Undisputed, Great, well thanks and we look forward to your next bout. Thank you.